कहां तक खत्म हुआ था टाइप्स ऑफ कोड एंड रिफ्लेक्टिव वर्क एरर डिटेक्शन करेक्टिंग कोड्स नहीं हुआ था ना नो सर ओके सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट ऑल अदर क्लासिफिकेशंस ओके व्हाट इज वेटेड कोड नॉन वेटेड कोड्स सीक्वेंशियल कोड्स साइक्लिक कोड रिफ्लेक्टिव कोड न्यूमेरिकल कोड्स अल्फा न्यूमेरिकल कोड्स सो द लास्ट सेट ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन इज एरर डिटेक्शन कोड and error detecting and correcting codes so basically this deals with how to find the errors and how to rectify it now suppose you are sending some information binary information from place a to place b okay suppose i am sending 1010 10. so two things can happen in place b either same data will be received here or maybe it will not receive so two things are possible so in first case there is no error whatever i am intending to say same thing you are receiving in place b so it is having no error or here instead of 1010 you received 1011 that means whatever you received in place b it contains a error okay now error is of different thing possibilities so like for example 1011 it can be error next is this one next is 1101 last one okay now can you comment about this four first of all in any case there is no error in any case is there containing no error or it contains error in this four combinations You are sending one zero one zero from place A. All these four combination is it one zero one zero? Is it one zero one zero? All it it is not same. That means it it contains a error. Then what is the difference between these four combination? Can you find out? One thing is whatever you are sending from place A, it is not the same. Apart from that, any other similarity or dissimilarity? <coughs> Anything? Okay. First, concentrate on this first combination. What is there? One zero one one. Okay. So what happens here in one zero one one? What you are sending? One zero one zero. So in which position error occurs? Where is there? Where there is error? Can't be error. Third place. Third place. We are sending one zero one zero. We are receiving one zero one one. Is that last two? Last two. Only last bit. Last one. One to same here, you know. One zero one. Here be one zero one. Only this zero is changed to one. Okay. Now check this combination. One zero zero one. Here error is there in which place? Which place error is there? Last two. two, sir. Last two sir. places. Till last. This and this. Yes, this sir. one is changed to zero. The zero is changed to one. Now concentrate on this one. Where is the error? How many position error is there? Middle two. All three. Middle, all three. All three. All three. G. This zero is changed to one. This one is changed to zero. This zero is changed to one. So error is there in the three bits. Last combination. Where is the error? All four. Sir, all four, four bits. Error is there. Okay. So here in the first case, error is in the one bit position. Second, error is there in the two positions, two bit position. Here error is there in the three bit position. Here error is there in the four bit position. So error can occur in any bit, and multiple bit error also can takes place. So this multiple bit error is it is not covered in our syllabus. So it is out of the scope for us. So it is also a possibility, but we will not discuss about this thing. So we will discuss. We will restrict ourselves only to one bit error. So whatever we will discuss, we will assume at maximum at max one bit error can takes place. So in any position, error can take place. That will be in the only one position. It will not be beyond one position. Is it clear? 
it is not that error cannot take place in 2 bit 3 bit 4 bit it is possible but that is beyond the scope of us okay so we'll restrict ourselves to this one bit error only so this one bit error can take place in different ways so it can happen that this is a possibility this is a possibility this is a possibility okay so what is the difference in this four combination in first case error takes place in this position second case error takes place in this position third error takes place in this position fourth error takes place in this position okay so we'll assume at max error can takes place in only one bit position so it can mean any position but at max only one error will takes place is this point clear is this clear a uh, yes or no is it clear yes sir the same thing is mentioned here when binary data is transmitted and proceed it is susceptible to a noise so due to noise error takes place so there can be a error error can be of one bit or more bit okay so this one bit error we can detect with the help of parity bit okay so we'll learn first of all we'll learn how to detect the error so for that purpose what we'll do we need to use a parity bit so whatever you are intending to send apart from that you need to add a another bit okay so suppose i want to send 1010 okay so now what we'll do we'll add a another bit so that will be your most significant bit okay this bit will be called as a parity bit Okay. Now, parity is of two type. One is even parity, and another one is odd parity. So, what kind of parity system you are using? Both A and B. Both of them know that. So, choose any one. First of all, you always even or odd. <coughs> what do you want? Even. Even parity. So, both the person in place A and place B know that. we are using a even parity system so this even parity system what happens we need to find the number of ones and number of one has to be a even number so here count how many number of ones are there this is one this is one already two ones are there so it is already a even number so in this position i can add zero or one depending on number of one needs to be a even number so it is already even number then what i should add here here i should add zero okay so depending upon the number of words you need to add the parity bit such that if it is even parity even number of one needs to be there now tell me suppose your message is 0 triple 1 then what will happen to parity what will happen to parity what will be added and it should be one those three ones are there one needs to be added now suppose 10101 1, then what should be the parity bit messages 10101 1. again one because three ones are there i need to make it a even number so it has to be one so here example is given so here i wrote for 0 to 9 okay 402 One zero zero one, for example. Now, if we want to go for the even parity, so here what to do? Zero needs to be added. Next, single one, so one needs to be added. Again here, single one, so one needs to be added. Next, we add karenge. What we should add for next combination? How many ones are there? <coughs> Only two ones are there, so zero needs to be added. Here, single one. One needs to be added. Two ones. Zero needs to be added. Two one. Zero needs to be added. Three one. One needs to be added. Single one. One needs to be added. Here, double one. Zero needs to be added. Okay. So same thing is mentioned here in even parity. Zero one zero double one zero one double zero double one zero. Whatever is meant, I wrote here. Find out. same thing i mentioned here this is the even parity 
similarly in all priority hotel half pack just we need to find out the number of ones number of one needs to be odd okay so kya hona chahiye if it is a odd priority what will happen here what i should add even ke liye to already kar chuke hain kya hona chahiye odd agar karna hai to just zero will be replaced with one and one will be replaced with zero yes or no if you want to find out number of one needs to be odd what i should do here no ones are there then what i should add one should be added if one i will add then one will be a odd number here single one is already there so i should add zero again single one is there i should add zero two ones are there so i should add a single one so it will be a odd number a single one zero should be added two ones single should be added two ones single should be added already three ones already odd number zero needs to be added single one already odd number zero needs to be added two ones one needs to be added so same thing is mentioned here in odd parity okay so is this point clear how to add the parity bit yes sir okay now what happens if we'll assume that one bit error will takes place take this example we are using even parity system our message is 1010 so parity bit 0 is added so now your signal is 01010 okay now this data is sent to place b place b person knows that we are using a even parity system so now suppose it reaches 01010 so person b will find out how many ones are there so he counted one one two ones are there it is a even number so he will assume that it contains no error it contains no error now instead of this suppose it reaches 00010 okay so what happened he will count number of ones so only single one that means it is a odd number but we are using even parity so he will know that it contains a error so in this way we will be able to find out whatever we are receiving in place b it contains error or not but can we find out where error is there using this method can i find out in which position error is there i can find out that it contains a error but can i find out the position in which error will be there can we do that whatever you discuss using that can i say in which bit error is there kahan pe error hai because you know both a and b you can comment on that in which position error is there it is in this position this one is changed to zero but person b doesn't person b doesn't know that he only counts number of ones and he knows that it contains a error because it is a odd number we are using it in parity system but it is becoming a odd number so he knows that there is a error but he is unable to find in which position error is there so this adding of parity bit is called as error detecting code error detecting codes so we can detect the error we can detect the error we can comment on that but we cannot find out in which position error is there if you are unable to find out we will not be able to rectify but we can say that there is a error okay again i told you about the demerit what is the demerit now suppose instead of this you received suppose this data 01100 okay how many ones are there in this combination two two ones are there so it is a even number so person b will assume that no error but is it same as whatever we sent whatever we sent is it same it is not same so why this problem occurs because error is there in the two bit position so this will be valid if error takes place only in one bit position theek hai up to this is it clear so two things we are getting a problem 
we are only able to detecting the errors but we are not able to rectify it because we are not able to find out in which position error is there second if more than one bit error takes place then we are helpless we are not able to find out correctly whatever we received it is correct or not correct so whatever we are discussing this is valid for only for one bit error so same thing same examples were given here next next we'll go for the how to rectify the errors how to identify and how to rectify the errors so for that purpose we need to go for this hamming code seven bit hamming code okay so this is a both error detecting and correcting code using this we'll be able to find out error is there or not if error is there we'll be able to rectify it so tell me any four bits any four bit value data any example of four bit particular example you want one any four. one one zero one zero one ओके okay. और कुछ बोलो बिकॉज नेक्स्ट एग्जांपल में वन वन जीरो वन होगा हाँ वन वन जीरो वन है और कुछ बोलो एनी फॉर एग्जांपल जीरो वन वन जीरो वन जीरो ओके सो दिस इज योर डाटा बेट्स दिस इज योर डाटा बेट्स सो दिस इज योर मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बीट दिस इज योर लीस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बीट so it contains four bit data in seven bit hamming code what we need to do first of all we need to go for seven bits okay so position number i will give this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay seven bits okay So previous case, what we are doing, we are use, we are adding only one parity bit. Here, what we need to do, we need to add three parity bits. So where will add that parity bits? In this position, two to the power n position. So n can be zero, one, two. So this will be parity one. This will be parity two. This will be parity four. In this way, you can remember. Okay. Two to the power zero, two to the power one, two to the power two. In those positions, we will add the parity. So remaining will be your data bits D three, D five, D six, D seven. These are the data bit. So whatever is your most significant bit, that will come in D three. Others will follow. So D five will one, D six will one, D seven will zero. Okay. so most significant bit this is important most significant bit will be written in the d3 then we'll keep on writing so d5 will be 1 d6 will be 1 d7 will be 0 now parity can be odd parity or even parity okay first of all what you want example even parity or odd parity which parity you want kaun sa parity even Okay. Now, to find out this P1, P2, P4, we need to check the data bits. So P1 will depend upon the position three, five, seven. So you can, in this way, you can remember one, three, five, seven. So one will depend upon position three, five, seven. So all are odd numbers. One, three, five, seven. So what is there in D3? D3 is zero. D5 is one, D7 is zero. You are using a even parity. So what I should add in position one? Zero or one? One. One should be added because only single one is there. I want to make it a even number. Okay. So I will write one in P1. Next, to find P2, next combination is two, three, six, seven. Two, three, six, seven. So two position parity bit will depend upon three six seven. So what is there in three six seven? D three is zero. D six is one. D seven is zero. Again, it is a even parity. So what I should add in position number two? क्या और करेंगे? 
How many ones are there? Single one is there. I need to make it a even number. So one needs to be added. So in place of P two, one will come. Last four will depend upon five, six, seven. So what is there in five, six, seven? One, one, zero. Okay. So how many ones are present here? Already two ones. It is already a even number. So what to do? What we need to add here? Zero or one? Start coming zero. We should add zero. So this will come here. Okay. So you need to remember these combinations. First is one three five seven. One three five seven. Next is two three six seven. Last one is four five six seven. Like previously, we are sending five bit. Now we will send data to this seven bit data will be sent to place B. So from place A, we will send one one double zero double one zero. This data will be sent. Okay. So first of all, to understand this, for exam point of view, we will discuss later. First, for understanding point of view, we will first to analyze what to do. Okay. Now, assume error takes place any one bit. कोई भी position में तुमको error चाहिए बताओ. Any particular one, so that we can later on we can check error is there or not. कोई भी particular position from one to seven, error will be there. कोई भी choose करो. Any number, random number. Five. Five. Means you are saying error is there in this position. Okay. So in place B, what data will be received? In place B, what data will be received? One, one, zero, zero. Error is here. So one will be zero. Zero, one, zero. Just for ease of writing, I am not writing P1, P2, D3, P4. I am only writing one to seven. Okay. Exam point to be need to write everything, all this. Okay. So now, place B person doesn't know it contains error or it doesn't contain error. So what he will do? Once he receives, he only knows this combination. What is this combination? One, three, five, seven. Two, three, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. So what he will do? He will first write down what is there in one, three, five, seven. So one, one. Third position, zero. Fifth position, what is there? What is there in this fifth position? Zero, zero. Seventh position? Zero, zero. So how many ones are there? Single one. Single one is an odd number or even number? Single one, odd or even, or odd. odd number. But person B knows that we are using even parity. We are using even parity. That means it contains a error. If it contains a error, he will write that C one is equal to one. C one is equal to one. Okay. If it contains error, value will be one. No error, value of C will be equal to zero. Next, he will check for two, three, six, seven. Two me kya hai? One, three, zero, six, one, seven, zero. So how many one is present here? How many one is present? Two ones. So it is an even number, no error. So next, he will write C two equal to zero. Last for five, six, seven. Four is zero. Five is zero. Six is one. Seven is zero. Okay, so how many ones are there? Single one. So it contains error or no error? Error. Error. So C three will be one. C three will be one. Next, what to do? You will write C three, C two, C one. What is its value? One zero one. So next, you need to convert them into decimal. What is the decimal equivalent of one zero one? Decimal equivalent five. Okay, that means error is there in the fifth position. It needs to be rectified. If you rectify, what will happen? This needs to be changed. This needs to be changed. Okay, so zero tha, so ye one ho jayega. So this will become one. Okay, so in this way, you can find out in which position error is there. You will be able to detect the error, and you will be able to rectify the 
error. Is this sir, error? Sir, can you explain this again, sir? I got disconnected, sir. Okay. Take another example. Let us take a another example. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Tell me any one particular position you want error. Any one particular position. One to seven. <coughs> Apart from five. Any one particular position. Four. Means error is there in this position. So, in place B, what you will receive? You will receive one, one, zero. After that, error is there. So what will happen? It will be one, 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 zero. Is it clear? Error is there in this position. So that is changed zero into one. Now, in place B, this person finds finds out what is in one three five seven. What is in one one three zero five one seven zero? Okay. So how many ones are there? How many ones in one zero one zero? How many ones are there? One zero one zero. How many ones are there? Say two. Two. Two means even number, so it contains no error. So C one must be zero. Next, two three six seven. Two is one. Three is zero. Six is one. Seven is zero. Again, two ones already even number. So it also doesn't contain any error. Last four, five, six, seven. How many ones are there? Three ones are there. We are using even parity, but three ones odd number. So it contains a error. Should be written as one. Next, you need to write C three C two input error. This is also important. Okay, if you reverse this, you will not get a correct answer. So you need to remember this also. C three C two C one. So C three C two C one will be one double zero. If you convert them into decimal, this will be four. That means error is there in this fourth position. It needs to be rectified. So one needs to be changed into zero. So your correct answer is one one double zero double one zero. Is it clear now? Sir, if we use odd parity in this one. Same thing. We will see later on. Another example we will see. Okay. Suppose let us do one for odd parity also. Okay. Suppose you are using a odd parity. First, tell me any four-bit data, any four-bit data, any example of four-bit data. Or could be any example you can take, na? Any example? One one zero one. अरे वो है ना next slide में है उसको छोड़ के. Double one. Double one. Double one. Double one. Okay, double one, double zero. Okay, so where to write this double one double zero? D three will be one, D five will be one, D six will be zero, D seven will be zero. Okay, first of all we need to construct this seven bits. So we need to find out P one, P two, P. We are using odd parity system. So P one will depend upon D three, D five, D seven. D three is one, D five is one, D seven is zero. So it has to be. Number of ones needs to be odd because we are using odd parity. Then what I will add in P one? What I will write? Zero or one? What will I write? One. One. Then only it will become odd number. So I wrote one here. Next, P two will depend upon D three, D six, D seven. D three is one. D six is zero. D seven is zero. Already single one is there. Already single one. Already it is an odd number. It is zero. So P two should be zero. Last P4 will depend upon D5, D6, D7. Again, it is one double zero. Already single one. Already it is a odd number. So what we should add? P0 should be added. So now your data is one zero one zero one double zero. Now tell me any one position you want error so that we can verify. 
एनी वन पर्टिकुलर पोजिशन यू वॉन्ट एरर कोई भी पोजिशन फोर तो हो गया था लास्ट में और कुछ बताओ फोर फाइव छोड़ दे फर्स्ट वन एरर इज देर इन दिस पोजिशन सपोज सो वट डाटा विल बी रिसीव इन प्लेस बी एरर मीन्स वन विल बी चेंज टू जीरो अदर्स विल रिमेन सेम जीरो वन जीरो वन डबल जीरो Again, same process. We will check one, three, five, seven. So one is zero. Three is one. Five is one. Seven is zero. How many ones are there? Two ones. So it contains error or no error? We are using odd parity. Even number of ones are there. It contains error. That means C one must be one. Next, two, three, six, seven. Two is zero. Three is one. Six is zero. Seven is zero. How many ones are there? Single one. Again, single one means odd parity. It doesn't contain any error, so C two must be zero. Next, four, five, six, seven, zero, one, double zero. How many ones are there? Single one. Again, it is yes, sir, no error. error. Zero. Next, C three, C two, C one is this decimal equivalent is one. That means error is in this position. It needs to be rectified, so it will become one. Okay. If there will be no error, what will happen? All will be zero. All will be zero. C three, C two, C one will be zero. Okay. Is it clear? Is it clear? Uh, is this method clear? Yes sir. No any doubt. Yes sir. Okay. Now, sir. Yes. Bolo. Sir, can you go back? Sir, how will it will become sir one two three four zero zero one sir? This one you are talking, or this one? Which one? Yes, sir. This one. Sir, you are talking about this or this one? Which one you are talking about? अरे किसके बारे में पूछ रहे हो ये प्लेस बी के बारे में या प्लेस ए के बारे में मैं ऑडिबल यस प्लेस बी यू आर आस्किंग और प्लेस ए यू आर आस्किंग दिस इज जस्ट अ केस जस्ट टू शो केस दैट दिस इज नॉट दैट यू विल रिसीव दिस ओनली सो वेन विल सॉल्व द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट विल बी क्लियर just to explain it to you that once you know that in this position it is there let on will be able to validate that that whatever we took same thing we are getting for that purpose only we took error can take place in any position we don't know that place b person will not know in which position there is there okay so we will solve a question that thing will be clear so it is only about construction that we discussed next is question so this kind of questions will come this kind of questions will come so here question is given that message below coded in a 7 bit hamming code is transmitted through a noisy channel we need to decode the message assuming at most single error takes place and message is this so this part is already done this construction part is already done and something is sent to place b in place b what is happening you are receiving 1001001 okay so in place b you are receiving this and here we are using even parity system so the question is we need to find out the we need to find out the message we need to find out the message means we need to find out the correct four bit data okay so again we need to follow the same process what to do this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we'll check 1 3 5 okay. 7 so in 1 3 5 7 what is there one is one Three is zero, five is zero, seven is one. So how many ones are present here? How many mm. ones? Two. So it is an even number, even quality. So C one must be zero. 
Next, two three six seven two zero three zero six zero seven is one. So how many ones are present? Single one, one. becomes an odd number. That means it contains an error. So C two must be one. Next, four five six seven. It is one zero zero one. Two ones, two ones. Then even number. So C three must be zero. Next, we'll write C three C two C one, which is zero one zero. If we convert that to decimal two, that means error is in the second position. It needs to be rectified. So if we we'll rectify this, this will become this. But question is. what is the message which one is the message this d3 d5 d6 d7 so your correct message is 0001 0001 and correct seven bits is this okay is this point clear up to this is it clear how questions can come in exam so two kind of question can come one suppose place b what you are receiving you need to find out or question can also come four bit data will be given and you need to construct the seven bit i mean code this part that we did this construction that also possible that is also possible so two kind of questions are possible theek hai up to this is it clear so up to this clear or in doubt in this this is important is it clear yes sir oh, okay next is the logic gate so basically i will share this ppt okay so you go through this because most of you already studied this things this is just a basic gates is truth table so you know about this so you go through this if any doubt just we'll discuss little bit overall we'll not go through overall we'll discuss okay if any doubt we can concentrate on that otherwise we can quickly finish it okay on this minute kar lete hain time hai abhi 5 minute so first is this logic gates are the fundamental building block of any digital system you know digital system whatever circuits you are designing to solve any problem so this logic gate plays a vital role they are the fundamental building block so using this logic gate only we can design so it is called as logic gate why logic gate because of its ability to make the decisions so they make the logical decisions logical and operation logical or operation logical not operation okay so because of that its name comes as logic gate so there are different kind of gates are there like and gate or gate not gate then nan gate nor gate exor gate exnor gate there is another gate which is called as buffer okay so different different gates are there out of which this three are called as the basic gate okay this two are called as the universal gate universal gate so using universal gate why universal gate because with the help of this nand gate and nor gate we can construct all other kind of gate we can with the help of this two we can construct all other five so because of that it is called as a universal gate okay so next let us see one by one first of all this logic gates input output can occur only in two level what are the two levels it can be one or zero or we can call them as true or false we can call them as high or low or we can call them as on or off okay so for this logic gates only two inputs are possible either zero or one these are the different names to that basically we'll stick to zero and one only okay so only two inputs are possible to a logic gate either it can be a zero or it can be a one so next is you have positive logic system and negative logic system so basically when you are saying logic zero and logic one what is this they are nothing but a voltage there is nothing but a voltage level 
सपोज लॉजिक जीरो इज जीरो होल्ड और लॉजिक वन इज फाइव होल्ड और हाइसाफस इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल इट कैन बी फाइव होल्ड दिस कैन बी जीरो होल्ड सो आउट ऑफ जीरो एंड फाइव विच वन इज लार्जर which one is higher between 0 and 5 5 is 5 5 is larger so if we are assuming higher voltage to be 1 and lower voltage to be 0 it is called as a positive logic system if lower voltage is assumed to be 1 and smaller voltage assumed to be 0 it is called as a negative logic system so throughout our course what we will do we will always go for the positive logic system positive logic system by default nothing is mentioned means it is a positive logic system higher voltage is assumed to be 1 and lower voltage is assumed to be 0 okay unless and until it is explicitly mentioned that negative logic system otherwise we will use the positive logic systems only so next is logic gates the different gates so i will share the ppt you will go through it then tomorrow we will discuss next class we will discuss okay so okay, write your roll numbers in the chat box write a full roll numbers thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you sir so this is my one bit so this is my one bit keyboard one bit the only option kiya tha two bit keyboard and from this two bit keyboard we are obtaining the